Hello, I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for Quilt Creations we will be starting our summer theme of the farm. So in your craft packet you'll have your new background with a little barn house and then you will either have two strips of yellow or two strips of brown, one strip of pink, and then a half strip each of black and white. And I will show you how to make our first quilt creation, which will be a cow. To begin, we will take our black strip and we're going to cut it in half. And we're going to make two tight circles. So put one strip of black into the little slot on your quilling tool and we're just going to roll it up all the way down and once it's all the way rolled up we're going to keep it tight and small and we're going to seal it up by taking our glue and adding a little bit to the end of the strip and then rolling it the rest of the way on there and then just make sure it's stuck on there pretty well and then we can remove it from our tool and we'll make a second one just like the first. Once we have our two black circles we can leave them there for a moment going to take our white strip. I'm going to cut it in half. And now we're going to make two teardrop shapes to begin. So we'll roll up one of our whites and then we can let it go because we want it to unroll a little bit. Not too, too much, but can let it unroll a little bit and then once it's a larger circle we can seal up the end and then we're going to pinch it into a teardrop shape so you just pick a place and pinch once it is this little teardrop shape then we're going to curve it so we're going to grab onto the pointed edge and then push, push our thumb or finger or even your quilling tool around so that we get this little curved teardrop. So we want to push the center and then push it. We're going to push both ends kind of towards each other so that it makes this little curved shape. And then we'll make another one just like that. Once we have both of those pieces, then we'll take our big pink strip. We're going to cut it in half. And then we'll cut both of those halves in half again to make fourths. So then with two of our fourths, we're going to make tight circles again, like we did with the black. Once it's rolled up, we'll go ahead and keep it tight, seal it up while it's on our tool, and then remove it. And then make another one just like that. Once we have both of those pinks done, we can take our other two pinks and we're gonna make teardrops, but we want these to be a little bit bigger so we're going to roll it up, let it go, 
I like to call this fluffing it up, but really it's just unrolling it a little bit so that it gives it a little bit of a bigger shape. And then we'll seal it up. And then pinch into a teardrop. And this one we'll leave as a teardrop. And then we'll make another one just like that. Then we'll take our last color. This will either be yellow or brown. We're going to cut it in half. Now we're going to make some large teardrops. So we'll loosely roll these up. And then let it go. We can fluff it up some to give it a bigger shape and then we'll seal it up. And pinch into a big teardrop. And then we'll make another one just like that again. And once we have our big teardrops, we'll take our very last strip, cut it in half again. We're going to take one half and make a big circle. So we'll roll it up loosely. And then we'll let it go. And we want this to be pretty big, so we're going to open it up a little. And then once it's pretty big and fat, we'll seal it up. And this we're going to leave a circle so we won't be pinching it into any shape. All right, now with the last part of our last strip, we're going to cut it into thirds. So I just fold it over until we have about three equal lengths here. Cut both ends and then we have three pieces. Now this time we're going to go ahead and put some glue on to one piece. We're going to take our pink teardrop line up the point of it with the end of our yellow or brown and then we're going to wrap it around and then when it gets back to the top we can add a little more glue and then continue to wrap it around again until we get to the end and then We'll put glue all the way to the end and wrap it around. We want to keep that point and just seal that up. So now we have a pink teardrop wrapped in yellow or brown. So then we'll do that again with our other pink teardrop. We'll wrap it up in our last color. All right, and then for our very last piece, before we start putting everything together, I'm going to take our last colored strip, add some glue, and then we're gonna take our two little pink circles. We're going to stick them next to each other on our yellow or brown strip and then wrap them up.
And once they are fully wrapped, then we can add some more glue again so that our layers will stay together. And we'll just keep wrapping it until we get to the end and then we'll seal it up. And now we are ready to put our cowl together. So we're gonna go ahead and find the spot that we want to put our cowl on our background and you can put it anywhere you would like to. And then we're going to take our big circle, which will be the head and our little tiny black circles, which are the eyes. So we are going to stick our little black circles inside our big yellow circle. I'm going to put them on either side. We'll just slide them between some of the curves and twists of our face. And then we can go ahead and take some glue and we're going to glue the face onto our background. Just add some glue all over here. And then gently flip it over and put it on our page. And there we have the start of our cow. Now our pink teardrops that are wrapped in our other color are the ears. So we'll put some glue on them and then add, put it on the back and then I'm gonna add just a little strip on the side where it's going to touch the head of my cow. And then we'll do the same thing for the other ear. And then our white curved teardrops that we made, these are gonna be some horns. So we're gonna add them to the top of the head with the rounded part touching the head. So again, we'll put some glue on the back and then a little line of glue on the curved end where it's going to touch the head. We'll put those on a little bit to either side on the top. Now our big teardrops are going to be the cow's legs. Now we are making a fluffy highland cow and that's why we have fluffy legs here so we're going to take our glue put it all across the back of our teardrop and then a little line at the top where it's going to connect to the head again and then add that to the front center below the head same thing for our other large teardrop. Now, the bottom, close to the bottom of the teardrops will be touching. You can add some glue there if you would like to, but you do not have to. And we want the points to be close together at the top. And then we're gonna take our cow's nose, our last piece, 
add some glue to the bottom and this is going to be a second layer so we're going to put it on our cow right at the point where the head and the legs and also body intersect and there is our cute silly little fluffy highland cow and that is our very first quilt creation for this summer thank you so much for joining me and i will see you next week to make another barnyard animal bye